had a mom on Instagram share a story that her mom used to do with her as a child, which was when she would break something or um, drop something, her mom would yell out, I love you more than whatever that thing was that she broke or whatever. And I notice as a mom, I get frustrated if I've just swept and mopped the floor and then the girls drop something all over it. Or I've noticed I'll get frustrated if they break something else because I'm thinking, oh, I've got to buy it again. And, you know, I'm obviously thinking about the bigger picture when it's, when something happens. And so I really believe it was just like the kindness of God to let me stumble upon that video because I had been in prayer about trying to be a better mom in those moments, like trying to steward their hearts better, but still, you know, push forth discipline. And anyways, I noticed the other day, my youngest sailor, she either dropped something like noodles. I think she dropped noodles all over the ground and I had just mopped and I could feel myself tensing up and she's just watching my face because the like kids are so smart, you know? They know what you're pretty much thinking and how you're feeling and they can read you really well. And I could see her just kind of watching me like waiting to get in trouble. And I looked at her, I like calmed down a moment and I said, I love you more than the noodles. And all of a sudden, like her face lit all the way up, beaming. She was like, oh, thank you, mommy. And, like, she was so happy to hear that, what she messed up in and where she, you know, fell short, if you will. And it didn't alter my love for her. So, I just really want you to parallel that with your relationship with Christ. That when we do fall short or when we do mess up, it doesn't change his love for us. He loves us on the days that we feel like we've done our best. He also loves us on the days that we feel like we've done our worst. So I just want to encourage you with that today.